Today we are using a Gen 2 2020 and we are wanting to adjust the swath calibrations on our planner. In simpler terms, we are wanting to adjust the timing of our automatic row shutoffs as it approaches the end rows. This is for planters that have drive types such as V-Drive. Before we start, for this video we are making the assumption that the correct measurements have been entered into the 2020 for the planter and the tractor and the GPS offset check has been run. To adjust the swath calibrations, first it is important to find out how far off we are. Plant up to a previously planted area such as an end row and then plant out of the previously planted area. What this shows is how accurately the planter is turning on and off. Measure the distance for both when the planter stopped planting and when it started planting again from the previously planted area in inches. Now go back to the 2020. From the home page, go to the setup button located on the right side. From there, select the systems tab. Select the calibration tab located on the upper right hand side of the screen. From there, select the Swath Calibration tab. This leads you to a page that allows you to adjust the start and stop seating offsets. Let's, st let's start with when the planter enters the previously planted area. If there is a gap between the planter shutoff and when the planter entered the end rows, then decrease the stop seating offset value by the length of gap in inches. This can be a negative number. If the planter overplanted, then increase the stop seating value by the distance overplanted in inches. Let's look at when the planter left the previously planted area. If the planter turned on too early, then decrease the start seating offset value by the distance it overplanted in inches. If the planter turned on too late, then increase the start seating offset value by the length of the gap in inches. Getting this calibration correct can prevent overplanting and gaps in the field.